Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Denial by Dusty Davis Suddenly, I found myself in a field. I don't know why or how I got there. I was just there for some reason. I started to look around, survey my surroundings, and I suddenly remembered where I was. I was in my old apartment's playground. I faced a group of muddy, out-of-place, and very ugly buildings. I knew this place like the back of my hand, but when I realized where I was, I became filled with a strange feeling, like I'd been here before. I mean, of course I had been, but this feeling was different. I decided not to waste time being a paranoid little bitch and look around at what had changed. They took the volleyball net down. Um, the slide had seen better days, and the shack looked like complete shit. I immediately felt sick as I walked through the place, remembering so many terrible things about it. But I also remembered good things, like the swing set. I had swung on those swings for the very first time. The old shack. I used to lose so many bouncy balls to that roof. It's so low, but just out of reach. And then there was the alcove tree, the first one that I had climbed. First one I'd stayed in for more than, oh, I don't know, four seconds. I walked back to the alcove tree, hoping I could climb it again, but I noticed something. There was a giant fence separating our apartments from the others. There was also a small hole in it, one that I could probably fit through had I been younger. I don't know what possessed me to do it, but I tried to fit through that hole. Tried, but failed miserably. I got stuck halfway in between, and I saw someone staring at me, feeling embarrassed that I was stuck in a fence, but knowing that I couldn't help myself, I decided to ask the person staring at me for help. No answer. I asked again, still no answer. I started wiggling, trying to get through, and after tearing my $3,000 suit, I managed to break free, but that person was still staring. I returned their glare as I walked away from the area, just now getting bored. As I walked through the field, at one point, I found a small note at my feet. I picked it up and unfolded it. It said, You wake up. It's relapse. Um, most of the note had been smudged with water and mud, and this was all I could make out. After I read it, I saw a man holding a shotgun. No, no, it wasn't a man. It was a thing still holding a shotgun. It raised its hand slowly and spoke, though I couldn't make out what it was saying. I shook my head and slowly backed away not wanting to die over such a trivial matter. Or was it? Was it trivial at all? Why was this thing here? What did it want? It frowned at my actions and raised the shotgun toward me. I started to scream for help, though no words came out, and it pulled the trigger. And I felt like I was hit by a train. When I awoke, everything was blurry. I couldn't move or speak and I couldn't even hear very well. I, I could still make out two distant voices. You... is... Yes, no. Yes. No, he's... So? I think... Yes. So he'll be... Yes, in time for... 
Yes, he should be able to hear. He looks like... Oh, no. We're... Lose... Damn. Another? Yes. His... Traumatic... Relapsing. And then suddenly I found myself in a field. And I couldn't shake the feeling of nostalgia like I had... Like I'd done all of this before. I had a fleeting memory of a few voices, but then something off in the distance caught my eye. So stay scary, my wildlings. Try not to get in a uh, consciousness death spiral, because despite my propensity for pithy little pieces of advice, I got nothing for that. And make the most of your nights.